we return to surface. <laughs> Tap. And it's getting more jammy! How much more jammy? I don't know, it's not like a gargantuan difference, but like, yeah, we got like... 20 more or something? I think I did the math a little bit. Like, roughly or whatever, and like... When I compared how many uh, gems I had... In like, six episodes, and then how many I got from like, the backtracking, comparably... I think it was like, roughly the same pace of gem acquisition, surprisingly. I thought it'd be way slower. But like, I had... I had gems to find... And I found some. The Dean's office. Have I been here already? He's got a, is that a little bed? A little boar bed? This is a the most terraria ass looking door I've ever seen, and I can't open it. Yeah, he wanted me to go find V. Do V or not to V? Yeah, we found this before. So we can go down there and get a checkpoint. And there's a bunch of options to the right, but also this one over here. Let's go here, I guess. Why not? Just try some places. It just goes here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't go there, so... Ah, it's just a return for when I fail at the other thing. It's not an option. Thought reduced. Are we just doing a sand test? How well do you know sand? Shit. Do I have to go high enough to... Mm. The checkpoint has the damaged sand already. Uh, I'll go in and out of here. I think they want me to get high enough to only break the top sand. There we go. So then I can push this without crushing all the sand and getting in big trouble. Hmm. What are we trying to do? I guess we're trying to get over that gap. So I think I want to push you forward, then break the sand. Okay. So let's go back out. Gotta preemptively break the right sand chunks all throughout. Are there more before I make the same mistake yet again? Uh, the camera's panned away, so I don't think we're gonna deal with any more of that. Is that good enough? Oh yeah, we're on the other side of the hole now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw that, that dirt going up and I'm like, I how do I get up? Uh, I can't get up there, can I? How do I, how do I, what do I do there? But it looks like it dead ends unless there's a door there. There is a secret door and a mystery somewhere here, but that's the entire surface. So I might not necessarily be there. power of my stompy stomp. Okay, secret door. Was that the... Okay, so that's that was the door. There's no more doors in that entire area, but there is a secret. And knowing... Oh yeah, it's probably that thing in the top right corner, the shrines that we don't know what to do with yet. Does the new material leaves? Looks like the new material leaves... Oh, you can, you can stomp it. Shaking a tree, I guess. But, uh, it collapses under you. There's no walking on that shit. What just happened?
What happened? Wasn't there just a hole there? Up. Oh. Weird. Are there any more secrets around? Just a door. Yeet. I uh, vaguely suspect I may not be going where I intended to go. <laughs> Like where the boar was sent to. I think I've immediately dropped into another secret facility full of weird shit. I see these glowing grubs and I just think I'm supposed to like, get them. I almost wonder if it's a simulation of how he can't read. When there's signs I can't read. There's a green one, there's a red one, they seem to say the same thing. Exit, caution, warning. It does have a T at the end, so maybe it's exit, but it's like hard to parse. Ah! Hi. Ruined door, which attaches back to dig site. Huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, grabbing my phone. Ah, uh, fuck. Where's my QR reader? I use these so infrequently. I first had to install a QR reader, not because of daily life. I've never used a QR code in real life. But, uh, because of... I think it was Talos Principle? <laughs> At QR codes? Maybe? Let's see. Can you scan it? Okay. The text is V V L R L R L R Um V V L R L R L L L R B V. Maybe I was supposed to do it while I was still there. V V L R L R L L L R V V. Can I go back up? Cause I'm I, I take the V's to be downs. So down down oh down down left right left right down 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 right down down. What do I do with this? Do I have to do it in that screen? <laughs> you sneaky bastards hiding that in there. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna screenshot this on my phone to keep it for later in case I close the program or something. I might have to loop back around to that room before I can do that. But it's definitely a QR code and I think I understand how to turn it into stuff. Although when wouldn't the V... Ooh, I went... I'm trapped on the side now. Wouldn't the V's just be D's or something? Is LR left... LTL... Oh yeah, L... I was thinking of LR as being left trigger or, le or something like that, but L... Yeah, LR is not a thing. It's LB and LT would be left bumper and left trigger. And then on the... PlayStation controller, it's L1 and L2. And then I think on the Nintendo, it's like L and ZL. So there's no LR. It would be left, right, left, right, yeah. But yeah, those inputs didn't go to anything either. There's like shit going on around here. What is. Am I going to start understanding what's up with these shrine thingies soon? 
I feel like we're going there. I like how they're like, wow, check out this whole new zone. What's going to happen? Anyway, you fell through the floor. Bye. Uh, I, hi. Ooh. To work. Oh. Budevi. Budevi. Budev. 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 I don't know how to pronounce things. I'm so sorry. That's zone three. We're in zone three. Here we are. Uh. <laughs> fell in a hole. Like 75 to 80 percent is a decent completion percentage per zone, maybe, and it'll go up all the more when I figure out like shrines and stuff. Okay, there's like cubes that look like missing source engine things, just kind of hanging out around. I guess I have to fall. Someone teach me how things work. Yeah, those, those are more butt pillows. They're just around these days. The first phase of Budavi. Oh, this one's got all sorts. Okay, there's a door back. Okay, not a door. Why did I say door? There's a book up there that might be replacing the computers. That might be what's going on around here now. This We might be, be beyond the scope of that previous. Oh, what the fuck's happening up there? How do I get up to there? Okay, there's some shit to parse here. Does the candle... Are candles magic? Do they do something? Uh, they're they're kind of scattered everywhere, so I'm figuring maybe not. But that candle is lined up to the left of the gem, like it's going to shoot a laser or something. Let's see. Hmm. There must be some way to interact with that shit, right? But how? I can't get up there. Not like this. Not like this. Huh? Um? Okay, so destroying this tile alternates every gem of that color. So this will get rid of all the red ones on the... T yep, on the right, and then, then the ones on the top fill in. Okay. And that was very easy to destroy terrain. And now we know what's up with this zone. And, that, and I guess that was mandatory because all those blue ones are blocking the way forward. And now we know. And that book up there is there to torture me. Uh, yep. Undiscovered lore is on the screen. So that almost certainly confirms that books are lore. Okay, so good to know. Uh, going by the map, there's more to the left that I can't see. Oh, I can climb over that. Okay. But I saw there was a gem. I'm like, how do I get to that gem? I, my, 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 my camera won't even pan over there. Now you know how to get here. A history of the second sapience. From the liberation to the flight uh, from Budevi by the Chronicler. Preface. Greetings, reader. I know not who you are, but if you are not one of us, know that these pages hold the records of the first civilization of the second sapience, Borkind and their kin. Recent inheritors of a strange and troubled world, this book is both a tool for learning and a failsafe of sorts. What you are reading is one of the hopefully many surviving copies of our history, scattered as far as we could see send them. For reasons that will be elaborated on later this volume, we feel that is a necessary measure. For now, know that this work was created with great purpose. Read it and keep safe for the good of us all. They're called the Second Sapiens. Okay, so the so yeah, it was the Boers are the people that that went from being uh, from specimens to subjects. It was the Boers. This is the secretest one, so let's check this one out. Can I swim? Oh. Oh! I can just go down here. Here I go. How's that gonna work out long term, though? Is air a problem? Is that a door down there? It looks like a door. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, okay. Anything left over here, though? So, among other things, we keep track of the fact that, uh, when you, uh... Um... Nope, lost that thought. Don't know what it was. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I had some kind of thought, and then I feel like I started the thought, like, ten seconds after I'd already lost it, and so I don't even slightly remember what I was getting at. Okay. We have an eye over here now. Also, another path I can take to Submersed. Huh? Not where I thought that was going to go. That's still, yeah, that's still a new direction. Okay. Did not know what to expect there. Be quick. Be quick. What you warning me about? What's gonna make me run out of time around here, huh? What do I gotta be quick about? What's uh, what's uh, going on? Is that the goal? No, that wouldn't be the goal, because I'm still gonna... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd still get scraped off, but I guess I could... I guess I could climb over the middle thing and over the other side, yeah. Are you supposed to keep climbing over it on the on its return trip? This game's kind of nuts. I don't know when to drop. Not then. Hmm. Some more fine-tuned rewinding powers might come in handy right about now. How do I know when to drop? God damn it. <laughs> This can't be what they want, right? It's too much of a pain in the ass. Oh, it stopped under me. Hello. Uh. Oh, this is gonna get old. This is gonna get old really fast. One, two, three. Nope. You know you're in trouble when you're trying to use the human fallibility. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my god. One, two, three. I don't need the time. No! I didn't need the timer that time! Ah, fuck. It's so inconsistent. This is the kind of precision that you would need, like, Braid's time travel for, not this game's time travel. Oh fuck, I didn't keep track. One, two, three. <sighs> Kill me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fuck. Ugh, this sucks. There has to be something... Okay, there we go. It definitely feels like there's got to be, like, a more reliable way of doing this. Christ. But you know you're in trouble when you're using, like, the, the fallible human perception of time to try to, like, time out a puzzle like that. You're like, oh no, I'm gonna be unhappy. I can't, like, hit that, can I? There's a red gem in here. Which, I don't even know what it would toggle. I don't see any red gems.
Well, uh oh. Help. Um. How do I leave? Yeah, the eyeball gets uncollected if I leave. Uh... <laughs> if I... Oh wait, no. It's not a problem, is it? The combination of like water and all this other shit, I think obscured. Okay, yeah. I couldn't tell that I could climb up there. That I was, I thought I was in trouble. But it was nothing. Yeah, the uh, scaffolding blocks can be weird to think about because you can pass through them but also climb them. And at least some moments where you're like, that doesn't look like it's possible to leave. It looks like a two tall, a two square tall gap, which means I'm screwed. Just push forth, yo. Lynchpin. First phase. Oh yeah. So still doors there's still doors to do back there, but we knew that. I left most of the doors unexplored so that we can keep track of the fact that there's more to do later. So here there is door and gem. At least one door. You never know for sure how many of each thing there's gonna be. So that got rid of a green. So if I destroyed that, I could have gotten rid of blue. But I also would have generated a blue above me. Which would have been bad. So it's good I didn't destroy the other blue. But now I want to, I think. There, because now there's a blue here. There's a door on the bottom right, and the top left, and the far left. It's all tech looking. We're not done with the tech stuff. Where the hell am I? Back and forth. There's gems. Alright, there's two gems up there. Door on my right, door to my left. Lots of fucking doors, oh god. Okay. Hmm. Stuff's gonna start getting complicated here, isn't it? Oh, it's, this screen pans. Just a bit. So if I destroy this one, I get access to green on the bottom left. Let's maybe try that first. Crossover! There's a gem here and nothing else. Okay, so good start. A gem here and nothing else. So none of these doors lead to other places then. Because they're all marked as discovered. It's just time for chaos, huh? Alright, well that's that done with. Is it the only green anywhere? Seems like it. It's just an isolated puzzle. Okay. So we could just go straight into here, but what's the fun in that? We gotta get some gems. Uh, it looks like you do everything on the right, then everything on the left. Oh, did it destroy it? Like the sca I mean, it looks like it's still there. At first it looked like it destroyed like the scaffolding that encased the red. New door. 
There's a gem up there and a gem shaped hole in the wall. Doesn't feel like I can go to the other side of the screen from here. Okay. I think I'm supposed to, if I want to go to the left side of the screen, I need to break a red tile, which will get rid of the two over here, and put a platform down there, and then I can break the blue tile, and then once the blue tile is broken, I can then push those boxes. Will even that work? If I push the boxes onto that, the bottom blue tile down in the bottom left corner there will exist, so they'll still be blocking the whole doorway. I don't know if switching them back would do something. Hmm. But I'm not seeing for sure how to get to the right side of the screen yet. Left side of the screen. La Cueva Oscura. There's a person. They're dancing and about. Oh, is that the, uh... That's the other character I could have picked, right? Yeah, they're gonna do the same little dance. Chapter 4. Fittingly, our disastrous internal strife was due to debate over whether the recently departed white coats actually existed. The, la the lab the lab people are the white coats. Though much evidence remained of their presence, the still living metal chambers, the reflecting pools, the glowing missives, that's the computers, the story of our race, as told by our shamans, quickly abandoned any mentions of the White Coats. Their role in the genesis of our race, such as it was, was replaced with a mysterious dark sun that lived deep underground and spun us from the void aeons ago. According, the sham according to the shamans, the relics of the Tall One civilization were in fact relics of ours, from a lost age of a taller, more graceful boar kind. These relics, as we were told, were our birthright, just waiting to be recovered. At the time, we chroniclers dismissed it as arrogant, yet compelling, boar-centric rhetoric. But it was more than that. The entire false history of shamans was not the product of any boar mind. It sounds like weird fascist stuff. Like, ah, here's my- here's our pa past history where we were- where we were greater and stronger, and we're entitled to reclaiming that stuff. And it's like, that's the, that's, that's the rhetoric you, that, that, that the fascists use. There it is. Now they just need to invent an outside threat. So that immediately blocks me and I'm in trouble. Okay. So I need one, two, three, and one to make the staircase. We'll drop that on you. And now we push. Wow, I never thought I'd see you again. I've been searching everywhere for the others. You're the first I've found. Dean sent me to find Varaha, but. That boar is a loon. I had a hard enough time waking him up, then all he did was spout garbage about his dreams. This whole temple seems like a waste of time. I'm going to the scrapyard and see if I can dig up Matson. He'll know what to do. Bye. I need to collect gems, which is totally still our goal. <laughs> it is really funny to continue to pursue this goal when the narrative has gone well beyond the importance of these gems already. Okay, oh, I don't have to change this or anything. They give me an exit. You know, here I go. Oh. Wow. So why are you gargantuan? Like, you're even bigger than the, the tycoon guy. Some of it almost feels like it's just like an attempt to like fit in more detail in the pixel art by just making them bigger at some point. It's like, Frederick, you, you can only jam so much into Frederick. But of course, Frederick has to be the size of a square uh, so that he can interact with the game. There's a book over there. 
Oh, I can't get out of this pit, can I? Yeah. I gotta drop this on his head. Whee! <laughs> that woke him the fuck up. Oh, hey, boar. I was just having some far-out dreams. There was, like, some tentacles or something reaching up from deep underground. Some heavy stuff. So that square GB has you chasing after some gems. I don't know what to tell you, boar. Huh? <laughs> Actually, boar, my buddies down in the library have been chasing off strange folk lately. Maybe they took GB's gems. There's also the people of Mole Town. They should know where you can scrounge up more gems. He keeps stomping on the ground to wake him up every time he closes his eyes. Frederick. <laughs> oh yeah, you can get back to the surface on your way to Mole Town through the door behind me. If you want to talk to the librarians, just turn around and go through the first door you see. There, then you go, uh... Well, you can, like, figure it out, boar. They're replacing man with boar. His necklace is a gem. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I wonder when the next set of arms is gonna sprout. Oh, yeah, you do just have more arms. That's just a thing that's been happening? You've just been growing new arms? Distressingly humanoid every- Everything about him is distressingly humanoid. Maybe there is a freaking ability for everybody to turn into weird, tall, slender people, because he's doing it, and it's a lot to take in. That GB perspective is all out of whack. I really miss digging some dirt with Dean. There's something about this temple. It's making me feel funny. It might be the radiation turning me into some kind of boar super mutant with more arms. I don't remember why I came here, but I dig the decor. You didn't put it here? <laughs> just so casually talking about spreading more arms. It's, it's just some body horror stuff going on there. I like to think that it's just his concentration and meditation, all it's accomplishing is keeping these candles lit so close to a waterfall. <laughs>